The latest twist in the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit favors XRP holders, as Judge Torres recently denied the SEC's letter to file a counter motion to strike out Ripple's fourth affirmative defense, referred to as surreply, a move many termed as delay tactics from the regulator. If you want to know more as Ripple takes on the SEC in this cryptocurrency trial of the century, then stick around till the very end. Thanks for watching Make Money Online. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications. We also have a crypto Discord group where we give out calls for our favorite altcoins, and you can also win special rewards for inviting your friends to the group. Links for that are in the description. As widely reported, the Securities and Exchange Commission has been dishing out a series of delay tactics that have kept on slowing down the final judgment of the case, thereby hurting XRP investors. However, interestingly, the ruling judge, who seems to be fed up with the SEC's schemes, denied the agency's letter to file a counter motion to strike out Ripple's fourth affirmative defense, referred to as Sir Reply. Ripple's Sir Reply contended that the court shouldn't consider the SEC's public enforcement action in the cryptocurrency space filed before the case. In other news, FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried thinks that Bitcoin is now settled halfway since trading pressures have leveled out. Crypto and traditional markets are suffering even more seriously following Thursday's invasion of Ukraine by Russia. The two markets have been on a sell-off in the previous week, with a striking free fall beginning early Thursday. Since Russia is one of the world's biggest oil producers, crude oil costs a spike to an eight-year high above $100. Stocks, again, have shed more than 5% in the same period. Russia's actions have spelled catastrophe for the rest of the crypto market in the wake of a $500 billion market sell-off. The vast majority of cryptocurrencies have now lost their support to trade at three-month lows. In the previous day, the crypto market has declined 11.1% to a $1.65 trillion market cap. Even though regarded as an inflationary hedge by some, Bitcoin hasn't been resistant to the battering the other markets have gotten. The crypto asset fell underneath the $40,000 mark a few days back and continued diving significantly further to $35,000. Sam Bankman Fried, the president of FTX Crypto Trade and one of Forbes' 2021 tycoons under 30, says Bitcoin's plunge is nothing unexpected. Bankman Fried also weighed in on the Eastern European war. He says it's fueled a sell off in traditional and crypto markets. As a result, people have less money at their disposal, and whatever they have is being used to fund the war. Also, the negative energy in the crypto market is the same as that of NASDAQ and the SP 500. The two have been displayed to have progressively high connections of late. The predominant political emergency is possibly undermining Eastern European currencies, as per Bankman Fried. He further recommends that people search for other options, like Bitcoin. The investor proceeded to classify investor mentalities into two classes, fundamental and algorithmic. He says the former depends on market circumstance and opinion, and the latter is to utilize data. For those with a fundamental outlook, the current situation presents a good buying opportunity. Meanwhile, algorithmic investors would prefer selling due to prevailing data and the crypto market's interrelation with the equity market. The back and forth between the two kinds of investors have now driven Bitcoin to drop halfway. Bankman Fried closes his thread of tweets with the subject of who between the two types of investors is right. And back to the big news, the latest development in the SEC vs. Ripple lawsuit involves the denial of the SEC's letter to file a counter motion to strike out Ripple's fourth affirmative defense, and this records another win for Ripple. In the letter, the SEC demanded the court to exercise its discretion in considering its proposed sir reply to present to the court highly relevant recent authority that directly refutes the arguments Ripple makes in its sir reply and responds to arguments Ripple makes for the first time in its sir reply. As indicated by the letter, on the 7th of February, another Hampshire district court conceded the SEC's motion for judgment in the pleadings. However, it struck an affirmative defense like that of Ripple Labs in a case explicitly asserting unregistered offers and deals of digital assets. Notwithstanding, SEC's demand to file a reply was denied in a bid to strike out Ripple's affirmative defense. According to the new turn of events, Judge Torres denied the SEC's application letter for being unsigned and updated, as well as not identifying a specific legal authority for the relief sought. The judge believed that the SEC's failure to attach a date and signature to the application was only the agency's tactics to delay the lawsuit further. The lawsuit filed by the SEC has dawdled around for more than a year now, with the end reportedly to be nearer than anticipated. In any case, the lawsuit has been delayed, with XRP investors persevering through the adverse price movement of the token. Within the XRP community, the judge's decision is a big win for Ripple and XRP, as another one of the SEC's delay tactics has been thwarted. While the case has continued for a long time, Ripple investors have inquired when the case will conclude. John Dean, a U.S. attorney, conceded amicus status in the Ripple case and estimated that the lawsuit could go on until next year, in light of the plaintiff's constant delay tactics. Proponents have assessed the new developments on the lawsuit against the payments giant, 
They believe that the regulators are using delay tactics, and Ripple's team of lawyers believe that the SEC is misleading the characterization of its earlier implementation actions on cryptocurrencies. According to the comments made by John Deaton, these delays are hurting the more than 65,000 people that joined in the fight against the SEC, especially those who actively own XRP, which have had to persevere through huge losses through the span of the case. In addition, the result of the lawsuit will decide how cryptocurrencies will be classed in the U.S. going forward. More so, other crypto companies are preparing to go against the SEC in court, one of which is the proponent billionaire and CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, reportedly preparing a lawsuit with substantial evidence of corruption against the SEC as he revealed on Twitter that he's building a case against the federal agency to hoist his camps. Likewise, Terra is reported to be planning a lawsuit against the Securities and Exchange Commission soon as well. In its motion, it contends that the regulator violated procedures by having its lawyers serve the Terraform founder a subpoena when he came to the U.S. to speak at a digital currency event. While not all of these reports have been made official, the SEC vs. Ripple case gives crypto-related companies the certainty that they can set out on a lawsuit with the agency without being defeated from the beginning. Furthermore, Joseph Hall, the previous SEC Managing Executive for Policy, predicted that the ongoing lawsuit between the SEC and Ripple could end in favor of Ripple. In a recent podcast with Tony Edward of Thinking Crypto, Hall expressed that the lawsuit is unnecessary in any case. He said he doesn't know what the SEC intends to demonstrate in the lawsuit. He also added, I'm very sympathetic to that argument. It's a basic due process argument. The Ripple network was operating for years before the last-minute filing of a lawsuit against them. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to turn on bell notifications. If you have any questions, drop us a comment, and we'll see you next time. Hollywood Carson